Everyone, we are looking at now the reason and the mechanism that Wegener was missing for why the continents drifted apart. So we've got a demonstration we want to show you here and we'll watch it together. So as you can see, we're putting some water in a beaker and the beaker is kind of hanging halfway off the hot plate. You turn on the hot plate to obviously make the water hot. So how do we know the water is hot? Well, the hot plate it must be pouring energy into that liquid and you can see now I've put some dye in and dye sinks just like we know but when it gets over that energy source you can see that you get this circular pattern happening and you're getting hot water to rise and you're getting cooler water to sink. That's not saying that the water is cold on the side where it's sinking but relatively it's cooler on that side. It has less energy Less energy means that the material is more dense. Yeah. So does. when dense things sink and less dense things rise. rise. So we're showing you a couple different colors here. Now we've got red going into the beaker. But it's going to do the same thing because it's the same motion. So this circular pattern is called convection. It's a transfer of energy from hot to cold. And you will see this pattern occur in nature over and over and over again. Because in every fluid, the more energy you have, the less dense it's going to be, and the more easily it will rise to the top. So in class, on your whiteboards, we asked you to draw this. We draw these semicircles here, one for the hot plate and one for the liquid, and we had you write observations during that demonstration. So some observations that people said about the hot plate was that, well, it was hot. How did they know it was hot? Well, they could see air moving across the top of the hot plate. No one touched it, but if you put your hand close, you would feel the heat. And another way of transferring energy is through a process called radiation. How do we know the liquid's hot? Well, the liquid looks a little bit different inside of the beaker itself, almost like a ripple effect in the water that's above the hot plate versus the water that's on the other side. And in the liquid, we saw these little convection cells happening. We saw the hot, less dense liquid rise and the cooler, more dense liquid sink. And that's why I threw that ice cube in there too. The so ice you make cube the water colder. got it colder and it should have sank a lot faster on that left side. So what we want to do now is look at the notes that we've written about the hot plate and the liquid and apply them to the layers of the earth. So if you do that, then you can imagine that the core is like the hot plate, the mantle is like the liquid that's above it, and then you can basically superimpose your ideas from one side of the paper to the other. So the core is hot and the mantle is sort of liquid. And it's hotter in some places than it is in others. So the hot places of the mantle will rise and the cool spots will sink. will sink. So this circular pattern allows things that are on top to kind of roll around. Yep. If I put a piece of paper in the liquid, it would have moved from the hot region to the cold region. What's on top of the mantle? We are. We stand on the mantle? We stand on the things that are on the mantle which is the very thin layer of earth we call the crust. Yep. So we sit on the crust and the crust is what's allowed to shift and move. The continents and the oceans live on the crust. So when these convection cells happen, they're going to push and drift continents apart mm -hmm. like you saw in the last video. And again, it's called convection. So mantle heating and mantle <clears throat> convection is the mechanism that Wegener was missing. He didn't know about that. And now that we do know that this is how the Earth heats, they came up with a whole new name for it, which is plate tectonics. So that will be our next topic. We need to investigate what's going to happen when each of the pieces of crust, the plates, will shift and roll on these convection cells. Sounds good? Sounds good. See you next time.